you can now define your sheet metal bends simply using a sketched line. In this example, we have imported a DXF of a sheet metal flat pattern from a legacy CAD tool. We'll quickly convert it using the thicken option to turn it into an on-shape sheet metal part. Now, using the bend feature, you can select the sheet metal face and a sketch line and on shape will create a bend. You can choose the bend alignment, selecting from familiar options, to capture the bend in the correct location with respect to the sketch line location. You can also choose the angle control type, either based on existing geometry or by simply keying in a value for the angle. Sketched bends can be used to quickly create complicated or skewed sets of bends that would otherwise be challenging to lay out. Make connectors have been improved to attach to many more elements in Onshape. Two important examples are sketches and curves. You can now attach a make connector to an entity in a sketch, and notice that it's correctly owned by the sketch face. You can also attach it to an edge in a sketch, whereby it's owned by the curve itself. Make connectors can be owned by other curve types as well, such as this helix. This functionality should make layout-based designs even easier. When inserting parts into an assembly, you'll now find a new option to insert entire part studio as rigid. Toggling this option on, we can bring in the frame of this utility cart. We've always been able to bring in all parts from a part studio in one click as a shortcut. But with this option selected, we have now created a parametric link back to the part studio itself. Notice in the feature list, we see all of the parts are grouped under the part studio's name. Additionally, we'll just make note that there are currently nine parts in the bill of materials. We'd like to make some changes to this cart. The handle at the top is unnecessary and can be removed. Additionally, we want to add some gussets for additional rigidity of the frame underneath the tub. Jumping back to the part studios, we can quickly make these edits. Removing these features that create the handle deletes that part from the parts list. Additionally, we'll create four additional parts that are the gussets. Usually, these parts would have to be deleted or added to the assembly. However, switching back to the assembly tab, we'll see it's been done automatically. Selecting to insert a part studio as rigid will allow the assembly to automatically update based on parts being added or removed from that part studio. We can confirm this both in the instance list on the left and the updated bill of materials now showing 12 independent parts. Inspection item numbers can now be placed automatically for all rows of an inspection table. Selecting the inspection item tool, pick the automatic tab at the top. Define your inspection number format and select the scope. You can place numbers for annotations on just the selected view, but in this case, we'll pick the entire sheet. Clicking the preview will show the inspection items. Switching the scope to drawing, we can actually create all inspection items shown on the table, even for annotations in other views on other sheets. Hidden edges are now included within the right-click Show Hide Edges dialog. This will allow you to hide or show individual hidden edges in a specific drawing view. You may now create auxiliary views exactly as you normally would even in a scenario where the parent view has already been cropped. Thanks for watching.
Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.